Good day, everyone. Yesterday, we talked about the special properties of matter. So, what are the different special properties of matter? Can you recall the special properties of matter? Okay, now, so we have our new topic for our new lesson. But first, let's have our objectives. At the end of the class, you will be able to identify the proper ways of handling different materials. So, let's have the ways or handling different materials. But first, let's watch this video. Kia ora. Sam here. Hazardous substances aren't only dangerous when you are using them, they need to be stored safely too. It's not just what containers you store them in, but also where you store them and what substances they are stored next to. Some substances are incompatible. That means they will react dangerously if they mix, like kerosene and poor chemicals. The mixing of incompatible substances can have disastrous consequences. You need to know what you are storing and what the hazardous substance should be kept away from. Every hazardous substance has a safety data sheet which is available from your supplier. You will find important safety information in this document. Look for the section called Handling and Storage. Some substances can't be stored near combustible material, so can't be stored on wooden floors or shelves. Other substances need to be kept in special cupboards or have special handling rules when you have a certain amount. Every substance is different, so you need to read each substance's safety data sheet carefully. So now we're done with the video, so let's proceed to handling different types of materials or most importantly, paano po natin i-handle yung mga materials na, mga materials na for example, flammable materials. So paano po daw natin i-handle o i-care, kikip ang mga flammable materials? First, Dapat daw po, meron po siyang labeled. Ano po ilalagay kapag labeled? Sabi, labeled correctly. Ibig sabihin po, dapat po meron po siyang label na siya ay flammable or madaling masunog kapag po uh, naset siya sa fire. So, ang mga flammable materials po ay dapat may labeled correctly and uh, kung kakayanin daw po, kailangan daw po sila ay naka-store outside our house. Okay? So, dapat daw po mga flammable materials ay naka-store outside po sa ating mga bahay. Next, let's have the different signs and symbols. Okay? So, meron po tayong symbol for flammable materials. So, kapag po may nakita po kayong symbol na parang may fire, Ibig sabihin po, ito po ay flammable. Okay? So, madali po masunog. How about ito man po, yung may parang scald or bungo? Ang ibig sabihin naman po dito ay toxic hazard. Ibig sabihin po, kapag po ito ay nakain or nainom ng mga tao, maaari po itong mag ng death sa kanila. Next one is explosive materials. Okay? Pag nakakita po kayo ng sign na para may nag-e-explode, ibig sabihin po, ito po yung mga bagay na maaari sumabog. How about corrosive materials? Kapag naman po sinabi natin corrosive materials, ito naman po yung mga materials na maaaring makaburn, makasugat sa atin kapag po ito ay na-touch ang ating body. 
So we have the different signs and symbols for dangerous materials. Next one is about expiration date. So kapag daw po meron tayong iba't ibang mga bagay, meron daw po yung expiration date. So always take note for the expiration date of the things that we consume. For example, food, mga um, bagay na pang dinis. Ayan. So, meron pong mga expiration date even sa medicine. Next one, how about handling decaying materials? So, kapag daw po may nagbe-decay na or nabubulok ng mga materials, hindi lang daw po sila basta-basta dapat kinahawakan. Dahil ang bacteria from decaying materials ay madaling maipasa sa atin. So, we have to handle decaying materials properly and dapat po i-proper dispose din po sila. Okay? So, we're done with the different uh, handling different materials. Kung paano daw po natin i-handle ang mga uh, different materials sa ating bahay. Okay? So, see you on our next lesson.